my list first fans is your kitty the possible ones. So thank you guys for this cool uh, question of the day video. It's awesome for you guys to be here. Today's question of the day video is in reference to this week's mini series of ability at work. Basically, I'm telling you guys about different topics and different things to consider while uh, working with persons with disabilities or working yourself with a disability. Uh, so let's get right into it. So today's videos are specifically in reference to collaborating with persons with disabilities. And this is a two-way street. Okay, so I need to first address um, the persons with disabilities and them going out and seeking other people out. All right. Um, a couple of things is that when you're going out to collab with someone and they want to work with you, okay, this, you have to first understand that what you have in your experiences in your disability are something you can bring to the table, okay, because your, your experiences and stuff might help out somebody else's product. However, if, if that's the only reason that they are, are targeting you to help, right? It's not, it might not necessarily be a very good opportunity because, um, you want, you, not only do you want to give them something, but you want to learn something from them too. Do you want, it's a give and take relationship. Okay. And the other thing is, is that, you know, if, if they are targeting you just for your disability, you know, you have to be really, really sure that some, it's someone who's going to be very respectful and tasteful towards your disability and understanding and it's it's just something to consider okay not everybody is like that but I'm just saying from personal experiences with some people that I have worked with I've made sure of this uh, numerous amounts of times that when people work with me that my disability you know isn't a big thing you know it isn't a big brick wall it isn't something that they're going to use it's going to be something that I can bring stuff to the table and then they can bring stuff to the table for me and it's a mutual uh, mutual level ground that we create between each other and you know that that's pretty much what I wanted to say and I want I want to let you guys know that if you have a disability you are just as good as the rest of everybody else okay and the reason being is because you have your own unique experiences you have your own unique strengths and if they you know they need to recognize that that regardless of you having what you have you are still a person. You are still a very strong person. You still have your strengths and you still have your very, you know, great things that you can do. So I just wanted to put that out there for that side of the of the talk today. The other side is for those who are the general public who might not have disabilities or maybe you do have a disability, but you're not sure how to reach out to others. Um, so the first thing, and like I said, is that you first thing is that when you're when you're going and approaching someone, your first your first thoughts have to be that you are giving something to them as well as they are giving something back to you. It has to be a created level ground for both of you to have a level opportunity because those of us who are uh, who have disabilities are looking for opportunities to grow ourselves because the society that we're in. Um, restricts some major opportunities to us because of our disabilities and because maybe they don't understand or they're too afraid. So just think about that, that an opportunity for you is an opportunity for them. Okay. You have to create that level of ground. Otherwise it'll just seem like one or the other of you is being used. Um, the next thing is that, you know, reaching out to people it's for one, you know, when you're reaching out, you you have to look at the person, okay? You have to look at what the person can do, you know, not as in reference to their disability, but look what they can do. Like, like what, what is their mind? What is their capacity? What is their capabilities? You know, like, what, what can they do on a computer? What can they do as to marketing or sales or, you know, whatever it is, you know, okay? You have to look at the person first instead of the disability. If your first instinct is to look at the disability, you need to re-look at things, okay? Because the disability, you know, like, I have a white cane, you would never know that I'm an artist, that I'm great at a computer, you know, that I've done uh, advertising, I've done social media, I've done interviews, I've done all these different things. You would never know that if you just looked at my disability, okay? And that's the main thing is that when you're reaching out to somebody, talk to them, ask them questions. If you genuinely want to reach out to this person, talk and ask questions because this is what's going to make the difference for you. And, um, the other thing is that when you're reaching out to somebody and you're like, you know, you have, you know, your disability is something that could benefit, you know, improving a product or helping it out or anything like that. Just kind of like, you know, be, you know, hi, you know, the experiences that you have or that you've had in your life would be something beneficial to the both of us, you know, that you, that they can bring 
the, their experiences of what their disability has to your product or to whatever it is to help you out. And then you bring your experiences as the person to, um, you know, to in the specific field to them so that they could learn more because 90% of the time, you know, the person who you collaborate with is going to want to know stuff as well as you want to know stuff. And, um, it, it's, it's just, it's an interesting thing. And, um, no matter which side you're on, you just, you just have to know that your disability is not a brick wall. Okay. And you have to know that you, not everybody is bad. Not everybody is hiding and not everybody's, you know what I mean? It's, it's just, it's something that needs to be thought of because us as persons with disabilities and then the, you guys as, as general population, there is this kind of thin wall between us because some people can get through it and ask questions and others are just, they see the disability and they can't get through it and they can't get their minds wrapped around it. And we, we need to, we need to create more of a, more of an opening in this wall so that we both have collaborations. We both have opportunities and we both have things that we can be proud of and, you know, and can, and tell everybody out and feel good and uh, accepted and all this great stuff. So, um, uh, that, that, that is a little bit uh, to consider. That's totally not only my point of views and my thoughts on this issue. Like I said, these videos could be thousands of times longer, but that's pretty much, I think is a good sum up. So if you guys got any questions or comments, you know where to leave them. Uh, otherwise, if you like this video, like favorite and share the video, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, more content coming out. I still want you to miss it. Otherwise, remember the perseverance is your Katie impossible. I will see you guys in future question of the day videos, as well as the bit about me video at 2 PM Minnesota time. So see you later.